Yeah, greetings. This is Brother Dawood. You know, 2020 means clear vision. But the year 2020 means something different. You know, things been unclear. Y'all been in a state of chaos since the beginning of this year. You know, the um, political arena is uncertain. We face a global pandemic. And there's been a big shift in our lives. You know, the hip hop community is in a state of disarray. You know, you got rappers getting shot. You got some losing their lives. And then you have like a constant beef. Yo, Turk from the Hot Boys and Reginelli of the Gambino family are at odds with each other due to something Turk said during an interview conducted by the Report Car Radio. The interviewer asked Turk a question about the past. He asked him, do you remember when Young Buck broke off from Juvenile and UPT? Turk responded, no, cause I was going through something during this time. I had a situation. So he told a story about how he caught a pistol charge driving in the car with someone who had drugs and a gun. He said that that whole situation resulted in his second pistol charge that he got. Turk stated that he was still upset with this person he was driving around with. He said that person was responsible for him catching his second pistol charge and that that person had that work in the car. You know what I'm talking about? Turk went on and said he took his charge and moved in silence. And that old boy Shahad took his charge. And that person that he was talking about was Reginelli. The whole story is Turk was hurting at this time. This was during the time when C. Myrtle was working on the CP3.com album. Turk used to see Reginelli all the time. He would ask him, Yo, Reginelli, yo, holla at. See, so I could try to get on No Limit because Turk was unhappy at cash money. He was sharing his disappointment with Reginelli. Reginelli told C about Turk. So one day, C told Reginelli to bring Turk to Baton Rouge. So the day when Reginelli was going to pick up Turk, a situation occurred. Before heading to Baton Rouge, Turk asked Reginelli to take him somewhere so he could drop off that work. You know, as if he was transporting something, if you know what I'm talking about. That work, that D. So Reginelli dropped him off at a dude named T House. So Reginelli drove to Josephine to the dude T House. Turks get out the car and go straight into the house. He never took no work into the house. Well, he came out the house with a little something something for himself to support his habit. He never delivered no keys or nothing like that, like he said he was delivering. So when they drove off, like two minutes later, the cops stopped them on Mall of the King. The cops get out the car. And while approaching the car that Turk Reginelli and his boy was in They saw Turk reaching his hand up towards the ceiling Reginelli boy yelled at Turk Yo put your hands down You gonna make them folks Think of something suspicious They saw Turk put his hand down The cops made them get out the car And placed them in a cop cruiser The cops searched their vehicle And found drugs a gun and a syringe that Turk hid in the ceiling. So they took Reginelli, his boy, and Turk down to the police station. A little while after or so, they brought in the dude T and some other dude. So T was under surveillance for some time. His house was being watched. So anyone who visited T that particular day, the cops try to lump them all together on some conspiracy 
So five people was brought into holding. It was T, Reginelli, Reginelli Boy, Turk. And the other dude. They tried to make it seem like they was all trapping together. So later on, T, Reginelli, and his boy made bond. And Turk and the other dude didn't make bond because they violated their probation. This was in 2001. Turk brought this up in a visa interview. So a fan inbox Reginelli on Instagram asking him, did you just hear what Turk said about you on the interview? The fan then sent the video to Reginelli's inbox and told him that Zach Park to listen to. So Reginelli made a response video on his Instagram. He told Turk, keep my name at your mouth. He said, if you mention my name, and ain't no facts to it, don't mention my name. He said, Turk, I was trying to help you out. And you were saying, holla at C, to try to get me on no limit. You said you wasn't happy over there at Cash Money because they kept messing you over. This is what Turk, I mean, this is what Reginelli was saying. Then Reginelli said, I used to feed you when you was down bad, messing with that stuff. He said, listen, Turk, C sent me to come and get you that day when we got caught up. So we got caught up. So he came through and bonded me and my boy out ASAP. And we had lawyers. He said they held you and the other dude because y'all violated your probation. Then he added, he said, Turk, when they were saying you was ratting, I defended you. Saying, nah, Turk, now nah, he ain't ratting. So Reginelli said he was surprised. He was really surprised. He couldn't believe that Turk would bring this up. He was saying that he couldn't sleep for two days thinking about this whole thing. So, you know, um, Reginelli went on the AFC podcast and did his breakdown or his, um, gave his story of how the whole thing would happen step by step. So I'm, I'm gonna leave a description and uh, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description box. But when Turk saw Reginelli's response, he tried calling Reginelli up about the matter. But Reginelli didn't want to talk over the phone. He wanted to address the issue in person. When he went back to try to hit Turk up, Turk blocked him on Facebook and Instagram. Reginelli went to the source after that. He went straight to T. It's on Reginelli's Instagram page, him talking with T. T said Turk hit his phone up about the interview with Report Card Radio, trying to explain himself, you know, trying to backtrack and stuff so that if Reginelli came to T first, you know, he tried to make himself look good. But T wasn't trying to hear that. He told his Yo, T told his girl, don't never get him my number. He a rat. Talking about Turk. Reginelli then said he started putting things together because the day when they all got arrested, they all was locked up in the same holding cell except Turk. They had Turk somewhere else separated. In a situation like that, cops usually separate the weakest ones from the rest, Reginelli added. The cops knew exactly where Stash was at at T House. T felt Turk snitched on him due to those laws finding his stash at his house. It was in a stairs somewhere and, and Turk knew exactly where it was at. But in the long run, they all beat that case because those cops were trying to do something crooked. 
the lawyers that Reginelli and his boy and team them had, they had exposed those dirty cops for doing something. But you know what? What you think about this whole situation? Should Turk meet up with Reginelli in person to apologize about the whole matter? Reginelli felt that Turk was doing this for clout chasing because his numbers and views up on his Instagram, Reginelli numbers up. So he felt that he couldn't think of no other reason that Turk would try to do something like this. He said he ain't the one to play with. Both of these dudes been robbed of having a good music career because they both did lengthy jail time. They served mad time. So they haven't been able to really express themselves artistically. I mean, come on. They, they come from the two most powerful record labels in the music industry. Cash money and no limit. You know, I think they should follow in the step of um, Bay Area Legends, E-40, and Richie Rich. They just had a situation where E-40 called Richie Rich a snitch. But before things could get crazy, they both sat down like men and squashed the beef. Turk and Reginelli should do the same thing. You know, they should just piece it up and um, do a couple of records together and get paid. You know, so um, y'all leave a comment. I'll leave a comment. Man, hit the hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. 